you got 10 o'clock? We got to get her done today, bud. This is Larry. He's in his 60s. He has four ex-wives. Here we go. And he should be retired. Instead, he's selling tires. Poor guy. Ugh. But before you start feeling too sorry for him, just know that he owns the place and gets a cut of 87 others. <laughs> so let's try that intro again. This is Larry. He took the phrase golden years literally. Now he's really, really, really rich. You got to get your hands dirty to pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tires have got me to where I want to be. Okay, big day today. Big day. How many we got on board? We got five in the I like that. I like that. I'm Larry Sutton. I'm president and founder of the r, &R Tire Express and Custom Wheels franchise. How are you today? And I'm known around the industry as the Reverend of Rent and Own. <laughs> what are you driving? It's probably uh, Ultima S. What we do is take products that people want, custom wheels, and other products that people need, tires, and basically we set up a rent to own payment plan that fits their budget. So see, I get something up there to the top like that. You get anything in the store. There's a lot of people that would like to personalize their car. They just don't have $2,000, $2,500. And so with us, they don't need it. For a $20 bill, they can get a whole set of tires aligned and running perfect and get out the door. They always make me happy. That's, Amen. you know, I like to hear that. You know what happens if they don't? I beat them up. Don't do, <laughs> don't do that. And making customers happy has kicked R&R's growth into high gear. Last year, we had 87 stores in 22 states, which generated $87 million corporate-wide this year, we're projecting revenues of about $115 million. So we love tires. No wonder. With that kind of revenue, Larry's tire business is definitely on a roll. But his original career in sales wasn't so lucrative. It started out for me at a retail television and appliance business. That was where I really got introduced to the concept of rent to own. I worked in that industry for over 20 years. I worked hard. We didn't feel poor, but it wasn't too much money. And then I retired. And when retired in Florida, do as the Floridians do. 1998, I played golf 297 days. And I hated golf. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, I was kind of looking for stuff to do. And not to mention, my bank account was dwindling fast. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I actually heard that someone out in Texas was experimenting with renting to own custom wheels, that they were really struggling. And I thought, I can do this a lot better than these guys. <laughs> that sounds like cockiness, and it probably is, uh, but that's inherent in all entrepreneurs, or else they wouldn't be one. So Larry traded in the links for lug nuts and applied his decades of experience in rent to own to a whole new market. We started with one little old store at a gas station, and by that second year in 2001, we actually brought in $750,000. So we opened number two. That one took off really well. Then we started looking at number three. And then one day, a friend of mine called me and said, listen, I'd really like to open one of these in Miami. And I said, man, this is great. It's great business. I mean, never even, <laughs> that's basically how I got in franchising. Once I got exposed to it, I fell in love with franchising because I thought, wow, this is a way that I can take what I'm learning and give it to others and help them become successful. Yeah, franchising makes Larry all warm and fuzzy, but also makes him a hell of a lot wealthier, thanks to the 7% royalty he collects from each new location. It's a home run for me because we can do it again and again and again and again. Here we are in Clearwater, Florida. This is a brand new store for us. In 10 days, there'll be cars in here getting wheels and tires, and uh, we'll do about 15 to 18 more new stores this year. So we're going to cross over that 100 store mark for the first time. So we're pretty excited about that. I feel like I fell into just a big old bucket of gold sometimes, <laughs> almost by accident. <laughs> and what a happy accident it was, because now Larry owns this baby. One of my early childhood heroes was James Bond. And James Bond always drove an Aston Martin. So obviously, when I was able to afford to do that, I jumped at the chance. I put on custom wheels, of course. <laughs> and if you've got a car as cool as 007s, you need a kick-ass place to park it. 
This is my house. It's actually one of five houses, but uh, my four ex-wives live in the other four, so uh, I've made this one my favorite home. <laughs> so I've got a 5,500 square foot house. It's very open. We have parties there with uh, sometimes 200 people, and there's room for everybody. It's a great place for the grandkids that come over. Whoa. Now, listen, I like fancy cars. I live in a nice house. Uh, I live a wonderful life. I've been rich and I've been poor. Rich is better, <laughs> but it's not what makes me happy. What makes me happy and what feeds me is interaction, <laughs> learning, and teaching. It's fun to be a part of someone else's success. You know, as a system manager, you're gonna have some responsibilities there for other people. Yes, sir. They win, but I win. Everybody wins in that situation. You see the magic this man makes. That's the whole package that, uh, that keeps you going. He's a magician. He is a magician. <laughs>